Good morning from Ahmed, Bali. Ahmed is described as sort of a sleepy beach town, a bit off the tourist path. And we just got here last night and I will say that it's been a definitely a peaceful place. So we are staying at the Tradisi Waterfront Villas. So we'll take a look now. It's a, got a kind of a grand entrance, very nice. We'll take a look now at the property. I'll show you our villa, the pool, the beachfront access. And then I'll talk to you about the prices. They also have a restaurant here. Uh, part of the package, the room rates include breakfast. So I'll talk to you all about that. But when you walk down the steps, you can see the courtyard's very pretty. Uh, like most places in Bali, you've got lots of fresh greenery, a, um, flower garden here and lots of statues and the villas are all uh, independent from one another so you really have your own living space and this is us right here in number seven and you can see it's a double level villa it's kind of a loft up there so up the steps you've got a patio area again nice furniture looking good through the siding glass door into the villa and one of the first things you'll notice about the villa, besides the open, like it's huge in here, is the air conditioner. And it's pretty hot and humid out there today, so I'm very thankful to have that. But when you look around this room, we've got a mini fridge, we've got a wardrobe, the queen size bed with mosquito netting. Uh, I guess you call it like a desk workspace, kind of a catch-all for us. And then a, um, I guess another catch-all, but this is our technology corner. And speaking of the technology, the plugs here are just those two prong. So you gotta have a converter to get your uh, US plugs to work. All right, there's the plugs. Uh, let's kind of look around the room here. I'm gonna show you the bathroom next. It's a little dark in here, so I gotta flip on the torch light here. All right, this is just like an open bathroom and you can see you've got your shower, you've got the open air, some soaps. Uh, clothes dryer it's all nice it's just dark because the sun's on the other side and then of course right back here the little toilet facilities so the bathroom's pretty good all right all right I'll take it upstairs next and the upstairs is where the kids are sleeping okay a little warmer up here, no doubt, but there is a fan. We've got two, I guess you call those like twin mattresses. They're kind of uh, just soft foam pads on the floor and the kids sleep there. That's followed up with an outdoor patio. There's nothing out here, uh, but you can actually see here a view. So you've got the pool right there and the ocean just beyond. So when they call it a beachfront property, I mean, they're not kidding, it's right there. So we'll go down. I would say from this angle, you get a pretty good perspective of the room. It's just open, it's pretty bright, and it's a nice room. All right, I'll walk you over towards the pool and show you the beach next. So the villa is beautiful enough, uh, never mind the fact that we're so close to the beach. They aren't kidding when it says Tradisi uh, Villa Resort on the beach because it is just basically right here. So you have this, again, colorful little walking path to go. And the first thing you do is come right up onto the pool. So again, from the pool to our front door, gosh, 20 yards and you're right there. It's beautiful. And the pool's awesome. Is the pool good, Cedar? Yeah. Okay, see, it wasn't just making that up. And they have a, a shallow end, which is great for forests. And you pay, pretty much have the whole pool to yourself. So the other cool thing about the villa is the proximity to the water. And that is right here. So Ahmed is known for its black sand beaches. And right now the tide's in, so it's kind of like black rock beaches for us. But once that tide goes out, oh, there you can kind of see, there's all this black sand. And what's so nice here is the beachfront property. You've got all these fishing boats speckled all the way down the bay and up around the ridge and this way as well. So as far as you can walk or see, you're going to be passing fishing boats. They're all super colorful. Maybe I can walk down a little bit here show you this one 
just to give you an idea, I mean, they're everywhere and they're all very unique and kind of cool how they're colored. So this is uh, not so much a traditional fishing boat. This is more of a cruiser. Right down here, these are all fishing boats. But our hotel is great. Part of the price includes breakfast. So I'll go to the restaurant, uh, maybe over lunch, and I'll talk to you about the actual prices. But until then, I'm going to head back into the pool. Enjoy the next few hours just uh, swimming and playing. All right, we actually spent the rest of the day at the pool. So it is now the next day and it is breakfast time. And here is just a typical look at what you'll get for breakfast. We have the nasi goreng, a fried eight, a nice uh, spread of fruit and our crispy chips, which are always my favorite. Mm. So this hotel, the Tradisi Hotel, is a fantastic place to stay. And the rooms here are very inexpensive. The, the total, which includes breakfast, cost per night is 400,000 rupiah, which is about $28. And the fact that you get, and I'll just show you one more time. So, delicious breakfast, good breakfast? Yeah, delicious. Good coffee. So the fact that you get breakfast, they also, I should point out, offer a variety of excursions, but for us, it's all about the beach and the pool. So the fact that for $28, you get a delicious breakfast, you get a nice pool and then you're this close to the beach with a little outdoor shower here. It's uh, it's going to be hard to beat that. All right, so it turns out the hotel here actually rents snorkel gear for a very inexpensive, something like 40,000 rupiah for the full day of use. And where we were planning on just sitting at the pool and kind of soaking in the water, for 40,000 you can't pass that up. So the plan now is to actually just do, it's a little, real windy. So the plan now is to do just a beach walk, pass all these boats, put in sort of at the bay, and Kelly and the kids are gonna snorkel and I'll walk uh, back to the hotel with Forrest. So the fact that they actually rent the snorkel gear right there, ah, why not, right? Even if you're not gonna go snorkeling out of the hotel in Ahmed, the beach walk is really beautiful just on itself because now you're getting a real shot of what all these boats look like. Yeah, there is uh, so many as far as the eye can see. So a ton of cool little sail fishing boats right off the beach. So we just touched base with some uh, divers and they said the best place to snorkel is sort of out past this curve sort of towards the lookout point. Now, I don't know if we're gonna walk that far, but I think the further down you go on the beach, the more rewarding it'll be in terms of the snorkeling. And you get to walk past all these fisher boats, so nothing wrong with that. All right, we'll keep on trudging then. All right, we are in the thick of the boat, <laughs> the boats now, uh, but I think uh, the best snorkeling is down around the ridge here. That's what everyone was just saying back in that little, uh, I don't know if you caught a market, but they are a few people selling some stuff, but they said, down, down the bay is uh, worth the effort. So now it's just kind of getting through the gauntlet here. All right, so Kelly and the kids are off for snorkeling. It was totally worth the walk uh, down around the bay. So uh, while I was here, I was talking with a local guy who runs a boat and a homestay, and he was saying that there is a sunken temple. Just, it's, you know, with the sun, you won't be able to see it, but just not so far past uh, the sunspots right there is a sunken temple. So Kelly and the kids are gonna attempt to get out there and I'm on baby duty. So I figured I could have uh, uh, this guy I just met, Lantor, show us his boat and tell us a little bit about what he does. Hey Lantor, how are you? Good, thank you. Good, so tell me, this is your boat? Yeah, this is my boat and this is my organized trip. Ah. So I want to introduce myself. My name is Lantor. And hey guys. Lance, are you from the area? Yeah, I'm from here. Awesome. And how long have you been running uh, tours? Tour for the boats. Yeah, know? yeah. About here or here. Oh, okay. And uh, business was probably pretty good. Normally, if not Normally. Uh, Corona, my business was quite good and sometime up, sometime down. Okay. Well, yeah, that's sort of been the, the theme of everything we've experienced so far in Bali. It's just Corona's been a real devastation. Yeah. So supporting 
people like Lantor Local, that's uh, you know that's the way to go. And you also run a homestay here. Yes, also yeah. Is it? Can we see a room? Yes, is that possible? Yeah. yeah. Is one ready? Can we look? Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, Thank you. It's my uh, cousin. It's your cousin. Yeah. Okay. So thanks, Lantor. Thank you. Okay. So Lantor again, right off the main drive, runs a homestay. Hello, Puggy. Hi. Hello. Sorry. Oh, hi, baby. See. He's my son. Four. You want to stay with baby? Yeah. No, not yet. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, we'll come back around yeah. so you can buy all types of chips and snacks and cold drink. Maybe we'll have a maybe we'll have a cold drink when we get back. All right. So, uh, what's your cousin's name? Uh, Ilo. 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 Yeah. Ilo. Okay, so Ilo is going to show us uh, the home that you can rent here uh, from Lantour. And again, I'll uh, try to highlight his business uh, down below. Mm. Woohoo! All right. Mm. So just off the main drag. Oh wow, all right, let me just kick my shoes off, my feet are so sandy, I feel bad, I'm gonna get the room sandy. Okay, all right, so this is the homestay, very pretty. Okay, fan, wardrobe, air conditioning, yep, air conditioning. Okay, it looks a lot like really our other place minus the um, upstairs loft. So the bathroom looks good. Shower, sink, toilet. And you're right on the beach here. Cool, thank you. Get your own little sitting area. And Lantor, I think uh, there, I saw a menu, so he also must run a restaurant. So when you come to Ahmed, you know, looking for homestays, looking for locally owned, I think goes a long way, especially in these times to support a local business. And, uh, you know, Lantor, it's a family-run operation right here. So this is, uh, uh, what's hey. your name again? I'm sorry. Ilu. Ilu. So this is uh, Lantor's cousin, hey. Ilu. How old are you? What? How old are you? Uh, 13. 13. Awesome. Yeah. Woohoo. Well, thank you for the yeah. tour. Very professional. Yeah. <laughs> so very cool. And then again, you have access to the boat. And I imagine if you stay here, you can probably work out some kind of deal hey. with Lantor about prices, which I'm sure are already inexpensive. Uh, but it's a really cool area. You see the boat? Yeah, this one. My boat's name is uh, this one, Chamar. Chamar. Yes, cool. Chamar. Yeah. All right. Well, again, anything we can do to support local business is great. In fact, I'm going to buy some drinks now because uh, it's a little hot and humid. All right. Lantor, thank you. Thank uh, you very much. All right. Terimakashi. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Oh. Ooh, thank you. Right. <laughs> Good times. Okay. Well, time for a cold drink. This guy's getting heavy. <laughs> All right. So uh, our friend here is selling ice. How much are the ice again? 1,000. 1,000 for one ice. This is for the XM. What flavor? This is mix. Mix. So mix. like uh, mango, banana. Yeah, I'm say melon. Okay. Melon. Melon. Melon, durian, and mochaccino. Oh, durian. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So mixed uh, fruit flavors. And I think I'm going to buy for all the children. They're so cheap. 1,000. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, of course. Temakashi. Enjoy. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh. Don't throw. <laughs> all right. So good time again. Anything one can do to support local economy, buying from our friend here, so cheap. Why not? And then buying uh, from Lantor and his homestay. It's classic. So these uh, pops are delicious. And how do you, you make these? Yeah, I make this with uh, pop ice and milk. Awesome. And do you do it like in your kitchen? Yeah. And how many do you make a day? I make a day around 50. 50 and you yeah, sell 50. Yeah, every I day? Yeah, I sell every day. Awesome, that's great. I'm, I'm super excited. And uh, again, entrepreneur right here, this man. And what's yeah. your name again? My name is Nanga. Say it again? Nanga. 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 From Ahmed. Ah, all right. So again, Ahmed. supporting Inong. Yeah. From Ahmed. And Ahmed. These, these are great. These and are great. the location is the front of Obia Wisata Tirta Jemeluk. So right up there off the main drag, look for the pink bucket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then you're going to get some tasty, some tasty pops. <laughs> yummy? Oh yeah. Yum, Good yum, time. Yum, yum, yum. All right. Well, again, this is fantastic. And uh, what a treat, especially on a hot day like today. So when Kelly and the kids come in, it's going to be a uh, little uh, icy pops for everybody. All right. Snorkeling. How was it? Today we saw a temple and cool fish. Um, we saw these rainbow fish and we I saw some purple fish. Nice. Lots of fish. Yeah. And you saw the temple under the water. Very cool. So again, that location, come down the beach, past all the boats. 
just to about the end of all the buildings before you hit that like hard uh, rock wall and then right out there and you'll see that underwater temple and you can do that again you can rent snorkel equipment uh, right at your hotel for fairly inexpensive at least where we were staying or from a like a land tour a guy like that would also have equipment for rent so awesome as you walk through Ahmed the downtown kind of main street it's sort of the same story like everywhere we've seen in Indonesia it's a speckling of open stores amongst uh, unfortunately many that are still closed but while you're in Ahmed the main drag is surprisingly uh, pretty open. You're gonna find all types of paddy dive shops, snorkeling opportunities, kind of like what we just saw. But the main shop that's here is Noni. And Noni's is open. We're gonna take a quick peek on the inside just so you can get an idea of what's available. All right, let's head on in. <laughs> so actually, Noni's is now closed ironically but we were here earlier and i don't know if you can see that glass or not but there's snacks there's shampoo there's suntan lotion there's coffee there's beer all that is typically available so right at this very moment though they are closed but usually open all right back to the hotel all right finally three weeks into vacation and I finally got the baby backpack out at a moment in time before it was all about taking a ride in it. So I'm super thankful we have it. I wish we would have utilized it more, but hopefully now that he's warming up to the backpack, we'll be able to use it a lot more. But walking down uh, the main drag in Ahmed, our goal is to get right up to that sort of famous Ahmed viewpoint for the sunset. So it's about 5.30 now, sunset goes down at I think 6.15 according to my phone. So we shouldn't have uh, any sort of trouble making it. And then after uh, the sunset, depending on the light conditions, we might hit a restaurant. And if I can film that, I will. Uh, so we'll see. All right, we're gonna head on up. This is a flat, easy part. Now it's like the kind of the hike up. We'll see how that goes. Well, Looks like we're gonna make sunset. It's still pretty far up. But this hill is no joke, especially with a baby. And your best hiking flip flops. But even with the sun that high up, it's beautiful. Totally beautiful boats. Totally worth the effort to get up here, no doubt. Oh, cute little puppy. Nice bracelets, very cool. Not today though, I didn't bring money for you, sorry. So everywhere you kind of go, there's really cute kids and you can't buy them all, unfortunately. All right, we'll keep going. Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. All right. So this is Sunset Point. Now I wonder, I didn't really research it. Is there actually like a viewpoint or is it all part of restaurants? Let's take a peek and see what we can find. All right, so making it up to the viewpoint, getting uh, one beer to split, it's uh, I think totally worth the price because you are right up on top and the view's gorgeous. And there's a little friend. So you've got all the boats. The mountain just went under the clouds but it was out and it was gorgeous so this would be a beautiful place to end the vlog and say i hope you enjoyed our ahmed uh trip certainly our hotel is one for you to consider and just the idea of snorkeling in that bay right there is great all right so for us that's it by the way if the uh, light is still good at the restaurant if the light is still good at the restaurant i'll try to show the dinner but it's just gorgeous spot right here. All right, we will see you in the next episode.